I have such a varied interest in cars. I try to buy something that's uh, rare, something with really low mileage on it. And maybe I've known the car for 20, 25 years and I've developed a friendship with the people. I'll end up buying the car either at uh, the auction or just right from my friend. I always tell people when I first meet them that I'm a pig food salesman. I was very fortunate with my dad and brother. We started our company Pharma Feed in 1973. And so I owe a lot of my success to my father and the training that he gave me. Got my interest in the cars in my 20s. I always uh, like to be able to find the most original one or the one in the very, very, very best possible condition that I could afford, even when I was just starting out and had one or two cars. I can remember my father telling me that it looks like it's a lot easier for you to buy a car than to ever sell anything because you rarely ever sell anything. And I said, well, I get attached to him. My uh, dad, uh, he wasn't very mechanical and neither am I. One of his first cars I remember was a 58 Buick Century. And so I've had a big interest in uh, Buicks and Cadillacs, and particularly the year 58. I just always felt that the, the Cadillac was the mark of excellence for General Motors. I always loved Cadillac Eldorado convertibles, the Britses, and I like to find the absolute best that there could be. This particular car I ran across, and it was with a big uh, Cadillac collector. I got to meet Larry who did the car. He went through everything. A lot of the parts and the different things that were on that car are NOS and it won some great awards and it just was known throughout the Cadillac uh, group. They said, hey, you got one of the very best cars with this 1956. The 1966 Corvette Coupe, I had never seen a totally original 1966 Corvette with all the options like that. Power steering, power brakes, side pipes, and everything worked. It was a piece of history that I wanted to have because I know they're only original ones. The Dana Camaro, I heard about from a friend of mine that built the car. Of course, the car is a clone, and he just would spend hours explaining how he found each correct part and how he went and found one of the original people that worked at Dana to do the car with him and to document everything. The research that went into that and to find out every bolt, every particular thing on that car that he could make it as close as it came from the factory and as close as Dana added the things in California. It's just unreal the time he spent on that. The 2011 Ferrari GTO, once we learned about it, we learned that it was gonna be very hard to get one. And so Jody and I went to Chicago to our Ferrari dealer and we purchased it. There's only 125 Ferrari GTOs in the United States, as far as I know, out of the 599 throughout the world. The 2018 Mercedes AMG GTR. I was aware that the car was being made, but I was aware that there was not many of the R's that were gonna be available for sale. Along in the middle of the year, a friend of mine with the Mercedes dealership called me and said, um, I had one that canceled. If you want it, you have to let me know right now. And I said, sure, I'll take it. And I knew that it was a very rare car because of the color, which even made it more interesting, being it's sunbeam solar. And I know there's not a lot of them around. I just kind of like looking at them as a piece of art. I just enjoy having a little variety, particularly of the rare variety. As I decided to sell, I was talking to Frank Meekham, and Frank said, well, why don't you just sell some of them? About uh, 30-some cars. 
And then it came down to what can I sell? Because I am attached to so many of them, I didn't want to sell them because some of them I've had for so many years, you know. I've really en enjoyed having this hobby of collecting cars with Jody. She's detailed about every car in here and, and she really enjoys doing it. It's something we can do together and we have a good time. I've been thinking about how I'm going to feel emotionally when the cars go. I'm only a caretaker for these cars and it's for a period of time. People are going to take awful good care of them cars like I did. So I'll know they'll have a good home. <laughs>